I don't even know where to stand for my room to be acceptable. Is that the word? Acceptable? If I close this, then it won't look too bad, will it, in the background when I say hi to you all. <laughs> I'm vlogging. Hi, hello, how are you? Long time no speak, it's nearly Christmas, time is flying. I thought I would vlog today as I'm feeling it. I'm feeling good. I'm, I'm feeling positive. A lot of positivity I'm feeling today <laughs> while I'm rambling. <clears throat> so today's when, no, Thursday. Today's Thursday. We are halfway through the week. I have showered, as you can see. I fake tanned last night, so I am nice and tanned. I just had a blood test. How fun. So I called my doctors um, maybe like a week ago, two weeks ago, and I basically said that I'm still absolutely exhausted from having coronavirus. My hair's still falling out. Maybe I have other side effects, I don't really know, but like the exhaustion is like the main part. I know that it can be long-term COVID, but like, can I do a blood test and see if there is anything that I need to maybe look out for? So yeah, they took a lot of blood out of me today, but I'm okay. I don't mind needles, I don't mind blood all of that like i'm actually quite good with it i find it really interesting i watch it happen it's really cool to me so um i don't mind that but i'm home now i've done the basic makeup that i normally do which is just a bit brow out okay bit of brow gel bit of mascara and that's it obviously skincare moisturizer um and a little bit of lip balm as well i don't like wearing lip gloss or lipstick in the house because what is the point i don't understand people who do that it just gets everywhere it gets so messy i don't like it today's plan of action i'm trying to gonna I still can't talk. I'm gonna try and make this vlog somewhat interesting. <laughs> when I say interesting, it's gonna be the same as normal. I, I'm gonna be tidying my room. I might film a drive with me today if I'm feeling it. We'll see, because I do really fancy trying out some of the festive McDonald's stuff. First things first, you are not ready to see my room. It is a tip. This is the view of my room when you walk in. How lovely, got boxes everywhere got washing got bags my bed yes it's covered in fake tan so i'm changing that today but that is like the last thing i'm going to do needs to tidy up my room first my desk is also in absolute state update i don't know if you can see my mac box is there i have packed away my mac wow i guess that's the one thing that has happened that um you weren't around for i guess i put you down here actually because i need to sort out this plaster i am getting rid of my mac i hate these tapes that they use for the cotton buds. Putting on my hair. I'm a hairy girl, you know? There's a bit of blood on the plaster. Don't worry, I won't show you that because that's weird. I have got a laptop as well. I don't have the money right now. I need to like sell stuff, but also I have like a completely different plan with all of my gadgets that I will eventually do. My Mac is quite slow and it really does my head in and I've taken it to Apple millions of times and they're always like, yeah, it's like this, you know, we can't really do much about it. And I'm like, but it's not meant to be this slow. So I'm selling it and then I'm just gonna keep my laptop for the time being. And then eventually what I'm gonna do is get a gaming monitor for my PlayStation so I can plug in my PlayStation there and then possibly one day get the Mac mini. And then I can plug that into the monitor. Obviously I'd have to get like the keyboards and the mouse and stuff but that's kind of like a late down the line in the future when i have a job and and i need it if i ever do don't know some of you might find it exciting some of you don't yes i have a playstation if you don't know it's one of my favorite things ever i grew up with games like i've always played like call of duty and that kind of thing i mean i don't play fifa i'm trying to learn how to play fortnite right now it's taking me a little bit of time but i am getting there and games like assassin's creed as well if you follow me on instagram you will know that i I'm obsessed with Assassin's Creed at the moment. I look back when I was a young girl, when I was like, yeah, when I was a kid, and I just think like, what did you do if you didn't have a PlayStation? I'm gonna put some music on and get going. Watch me break in your sweat. You're falling into me, touch me. I swear, you would do anything that I want. I hope you enjoyed watching that. A little bit of boogieing, bit of dancing, you know. I'm nearly done, kind of ish. Pile of rubbish to take down. I just need to put this in my bathroom. This is all 
dirty washing. <laughs> I still need to do my bed sheets, but that's fine. Um, I'm returning this parcel, and there's two parcels here that I'm going to return today as well. Um, I need to just wipe the surfaces because they're a bit dusty there and like a bit dirty, you know, as you do. This bag is full of stuff that I'm about to show you. Um, but yeah, it's looking a lot more. Look, I have actually some space to walk. So I actually popped a Primark the other day for the first time since the first ever lockdown. That's how long I haven't been to Primark for. And you will know that I love a bit of Primark. I love a Primark haul. Let me tell you, Primark is not that great at the moment, in my opinion. There were a couple of bits that I saw that I found and I was like, okay, yeah, I really like it, I'm gonna get it. But my main priority from Primark was to get pajamas and there was just nothing that I liked. All the designs for like the Christmas ones or just like the nice cozy ones, they were like too, like too much. There was either too much going on or nothing at all. And I'm not really the biggest fan of pajamas that have like Brighton on it. I struggled to get some stuff, but I did pick up a few bits. I thought I would just quickly show you what I got. It's not enough for a haul, which is why I'm not doing a separate haul. But some socks, wow, some trainer socks. And then I got my favorite pair of leggings that are like cheap and affordable. These are the best they are in the underwear section then i got this cute little like a pajama thing it's really cute kind of um kind of sexy you know it's very nice i got my first woolly jumper of the year it's like soft oh my god i can't speak it's like a soft it's like a soft, um, thin material, so it's not too hot with balloon sleeves. Absolutely love it. Roll neck. They also do this in grey. I got this in a size 12 to 14 to have it a little bit oversized. I just got like a tight roll neck. Uh, I like to wear these with joggers. Just a plain kind of light grey. I don't have a light grey. I have a long sleeve top, so I thought I would buy that. My favourite thing... I'm not really that into like Christmas jumpers and I'm not really that into like Disney, like wearing Disney and stuff. But let me tell you, when I saw this, I was so excited. This is one of my favourite films. Look at how cute this is. Um, how adorable. I'm actually obsessed. So this is, yeah, one of my favourite films of all time. I have very, very good memories as a child from that film. So I guess it kind of just like sticks with me in my heart, you know. But how cute is it? see this is what i like because it's not too much like there were quite a few christmas jumpers and they were just over the top and i'm like can you please calm down like i just don't like it whereas with this yes it's a little bit of disney and it's a little bit of christmas and it's a baby blue color i don't really have baby blue things really apart from a pair of joggers maybe so this is right up my street. I'm now exhausted from tidying up, so I'm probably just gonna take a quick break, have a little bit of a rest. See, this 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 whole COVID thing, like, I'm now exhausted because I went out once to get my injection, not injection, my blood test, and I tidied up my room a little bit. Like, it's not even finished. I need a nap. I've decided to come on here to basically let you know that I had a little bit of a down moment. <laughs> I wasn't sure if I was gonna tell you about it or not, but you know what, I thought, Right, I want to talk about mental health a little bit more. What is this bit of hair doing? Like, can we just, can we not, please? I really need to sort my hair out at some point. I just can't be bothered, do you know what I mean? After I came on, came off camera, I've decided to edit my video a little bit and then I got really, really tired. So I had a bit of a nap, like 20 minute nap or so. When I woke up, I felt a little bit shit, if I'm honest. I kind of had a little bit of a cry little bit of a down moment. I had a very anxious moment, basically, and a very sad moment. I was thinking about the one thing that makes me anxious at the moment, which I'm not gonna go into detail because I wanna save it for a mental health video, but it's an insecurity of mine that I have to deal with. I always say to my friends, like, oh, I don't know if I should vlog because I don't really have a lot going on in my life right now, it's a bit boring, but actually, I have a mental health going on and that's really important and I'm sure that someone out there even if it's just one person interested in my mental health whether that's to help them or just to make them feel like they're not alone I'm happy to do that I want to be more open with the mental health and it's something that I do struggle with a little bit just because there are some people out there that are really really nasty recently over the last couple of months I definitely hit like an all-time low which I will talk about in my mental health video, I promise it's coming up very, very soon. I just need to film it. Normally when I hit like a really low feeling, I normally either message one of the girls or I'll FaceTime one of them or I will message my boyfriend. That's what I've been doing over the last 
couple of months and i've been leaning on people a lot which isn't a bad thing at all but at the same time i feel like i have been leaning on people too much because i now hate my own company i hate it i can't stand being alone and at the end of the day i need to learn how to love myself again and love spending time on my own with myself in my own company so i decided to not tell anyone that I felt low. Some people might disagree and think that I should have told someone spoken about it, but you know what, it's, I felt low over something that has already been spoken about. I spoke about it yesterday, actually. So the fact that I spoke about it yesterday, it doesn't need to be spoken about again. I need to process my emotions now. And the way I need to do that is also spending time on my own and thinking about it, but also trying to distract myself and enjoy my own company. And now I'm back vlogging. <laughs> and that's good because normally when I hit a low, I stopped vlogging. I can't tell you how many vlogs I have started over the last month, but never finished and just deleted the footage. I would start off the morning great. I would make myself a coffee. I would sit at my desk. I would talk to you. I would go for a walk and take you along with me. And then all of a sudden I would sit in my room and I would just start crying. Instead of like letting myself feel, you know, giving myself like half an hour, an hour or whatever, I would just be miserable for the rest of the day, be really sad. And sometimes I mean, you need that, yeah, but not all the time i wouldn't pick up the camera again i'm not exactly going to necessarily show you my down times because i think that's a bit too much but i definitely will kind of you know mention it and maybe tell you how i made myself feel better not go into a lot of detail but you know it might be interesting to be like hey so you know i felt low today but this is what i did to help myself and then have like some positive pep talk you know i don't know i don't know i'll, I'll see what happens but I just, I want to see my mental health in a positive way from now on and use it to my advantage. I have my chamomile tea and that's what matters, right? I feel like I can never get bored of this flavour. I get bored of green tea, I get bored of peppermint tea, but chamomile tea is just it's lovely. I do like it. Right, I'm going to quickly wrap up the returns and then pop them in my car ready for tomorrow and probably edit and chill. Wow, what an exciting day. <laughs> Today has been a whirlwind of a day for me, I think. But it's okay. I'm having a stir fry for dinner tonight with some prawn. I'm very excited. I've just been chilling and watching some YouTube and I've done all my returns. They're just on the floor. They're in a pile. So I'm just going to pop them in my car and then they're all ready. So I'll go to work the post office i'm probably gonna go have a shower now and i need to zen tonight you know when you just need to like calm have like a nice chill time so yeah i'm gonna end the vlog here i think because i'm not really gonna be up too much now i don't really have anything to tell you anymore i'm feeling okay like not good or bad i'm kind of a bit yeah. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to subscribe, follow me on all my social media, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.